Hi guys, and welcome to this second uh, dev summary of Big Ambitions. It's been nine months since the last one, so obviously we have uh, quite a lot of new things that I want to show you. But um, enough talk, let's, um, let's look into it. The first new thing we added is that we will hide buildings that are obstructing the view between you and the camera. Uh, we also added uh, the option to control your character using mouse follow, like in uh, Diablo. Moving on is objectives. It's the top left uh, box you can see on the screen right now. It shows what you need to be doing um, next if you follow Uncle Fred's objectives. It will also show you, if you look at the very bottom of the list, your upcoming tasks. So that is anything that's wrong with any of your businesses. So constantly update and tell you, hey, what's next and what you should focus on. Quick update to the parking lanes. We added vehicles and we added some randomization on the free spots. So now it's based on the popularity of each area. The UI for interacting with buildings has also been improved. You can now enter a building by just simply left clicking on it and right clicking will give you additional uh, options for this specific building. For the night time of the game, we spent some time adding lights and post-processing effects and so on. Another uh, big part of this update is the interior shader. So if you look in the windows, you can now look into the buildings. We spent an awful amount of time on this, but it looks pretty cool, I think. We also found some time to work on the details of each of the roads. Uh, now you will see stuff like potholes, cracks, road repairs and uh, main holes. Character uh, customization or modular characters, as it says here, has also been added to the game. So now we can uh, change between various gender, skin color, uh, face types, and obviously um, various um, clothing types. We are still working on this. There will be way more types of, of clothing and so on. But now you can kind of see what, what we got in stock. So what you see here is our wholesale drive-in store. So this is a convenient way of buying items or uh, cardboard boxes full of products you're going to sell in your store in a convenient way. We, uh, we even added a forklift so you can um, load up pallets of products. That's another pretty cool feature. The city map has also been added to the game. You can access it through the M key on your keyboard or clicking the Google Maps icon on your smartphone. The city map is basically a godlike view of the city and you can um, move around freely using either uh, the vast keys or the mouse. You also got zooming in using the mouse wheel. Additional to the city map, we also added filters. In this case, David is looking for an appliance store and next up is the furniture store and so on. It allows you to filter out on any type of business or building type throughout the city. Entering and exiting buildings used to be like a very, very heavy job for the computer. Um, it took like seven or eight seconds to, to enter a building. We have fixed that now, so as you can see, it happens instantly. Another new feature is the dirty floors, which basically just adds uh, dirt to um, your businesses when you have customers. As you can see, you as a player can clean the floors, but as with anything in Big Ambitions, this can of course also be automated. The harbor area has also been added to the game and it's particularly interesting for the future because this will be where the big ships are sailing in products that you can hook up to each of your warehouses around the city. More about that later. If you are excited about big ambitions, I'm glad to announce that our Steam coming soon page is now up. As with any Steam game, our uh, release depends entirely on the wishlist count, so any click on that green button is massively appreciated. All right, that sums up our second dev summary. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. Um, I actually only shown you around 25% of the progress we made since April. So if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the uh, comment section and we can get going adding uh, even more of these dev summaries. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.